my first vlog. This is it. Um, we're setting the bar really low by recording this on my um, laptop from a pretty unflattering angle in, in bad lighting with terrible sound quality. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but that's fine because it's literally the first one. So there's only room for improvement. Um, we'll start off with some pictures of, or maybe these are all lichen. I think they are all lichen, which are great because I have taken a lichen to lichen ever since I learned about their symbiotic relationship. Um, that makes them themselves. It's algae and fungus together. Loving it. But uh, this one is Elegant Sunburst. See those Asco Carps? I think that's what those cups are called. Uh, I could be wrong. I th ah, it's got to have Asco in it. But um, I thought I'd talk to you about this pamphlet or this booklet. Easy Journey to Other Planets by uh, Swami Prabhupada, His Divine Grace, the dude who like brought the Hare Krishna movement to the West, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I do not profess to be a um, expert on anything. Hare Krishna, Hinduism, but I am very interested in it. And I have this booklet that I'm super interested in because interplanetary travel sounds amazing. And I didn't know, um, apparently in some sects of the Hare Krishna movement, some believers or devotees, devotees, might have the um, belief that there are other planets that I had not heard about. One, the topmost planet in the material world. They're not in the transcendental anti-material realm, spiritual realm. They're literally in the material world. One is called Satya Loka or Brahma Loka. And it Apparently, the beings of greatest talents live there. And um, the first created being of the material world, Brahma, is the presiding deity of Brahma Loka. Um, and he is the most talented personality, or they are, Brahma. He, I don't know, I was raised in the Christian faith, and like, God is he... So I'm just used to holy dudes. I don't know. And I learned that there are gunas, which are the changing modes of nature that create the material world. There are three of them. The material world is created by the mode of rajas, passion. And it's maintained by the mode of sattva, goodness. And annihilated by the mode of tamas, ignorance. Now I'd like to examine that right here on camera. I don't have anything prepared to say about it, but I want to try to figure out what it means. The material world is created by the mode of passion. That makes sense. Um, thinking like Big Bang, uh, sexual intercourse, passion explosions well the explosions seem more like the annihilation part of it but after annihilation oh I guess it's a cycle the material world created by the mode of the passion maintained by the mode of goodness and annihilated by the mode of ignorance and that's ignorance of the fact, I think that's ignorance of like the spiritual reality, the anti-material world. 
I think it's our inner divinity that we um, can be ignorant of that can cause us <laughs> um, strife, grief. One of those, probably both, if you're uh, not so lucky. But I don't know. I find that seeing the God in everyone, including yourself, um, or in myself, has benefited me in um, just my attitude about life and how it's going, <laughs> like the outside world, how uh, we're not really in control, the human condition kind of thing. It helps me deal with that, being like, we're all just a little bit of God, all just a little bit of God, and God, God's just getting, getting, getting goofy, getting a little goofy, God, and uh, it's, there's good, and maybe there's bad. <laughs> there is bad. There's definitely bad. But I don't know about evil. That's the thing. I feel like maybe ignorance. Ignorance is what they're saying instead of evil. I feel like the Bible would call it evil or sin. But Thomas, or Thomas, I don't know how to pronounce it. it ignorance is the mode of the material world that, well, the mode that, annihilates what is created by passion and maintained by goodness. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I just keep reading that, it'll make sense to me eventually. Like, I guess I get the gist. Like, those are the different... Yeah, there's... Yeah, it's like there's no evil. There is goodness. And there's also passion, which can kind of lean either way towards, there can be ignorant passion. Ooh, we all know some passionate ignorance. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. But there's also good passion. So that's nice. Oh, yeah. This is a long video already. I love it. I wonder if I'll edit it at all. We'll have to find out. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.